So I think we are officially at the bottom of the solar cycle here, which means propagation sucks and you turn on your HF radio and there is generally nothing there unless there's a contest. I'm going to talk about something today that might just get you back on your HF radio even during this low solar cycle. It's fun it's fast and it's free. This time on K6 UDA Radio. All right guys, this time I'm gonna give you a quick tour of a new digital operating mode. This is called FT8. And uh, this is not for rag chewing or anything. This is strictly made for really super weak signal uh, propagation and you actually do make contacts that you can log and, um, and use them for DXCC awards or whatever kind of stuff you want. Build your log. It'll give you a great indication of what you're hearing and where your antenna is getting out to. So let's just jump into it. Now to make contacts on FT8, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a computer and your HF radio. Now get on Google or some other search engine and type in FT8. Click on the WSJT homepage and uh, scroll down and pick your flavor of the program. I'm personally using a Mac. Go ahead and download the program and then install it on your computer. But before you do the actual install, be sure and do the README file. It's got a lot of important information and this program is not uh, set up like uh, your everyday novice computer users kind of a deal. Once you've got the install done, go ahead and open the program you'll get to a screen that looks pretty much like this and you can select your bands. Then go up and click on preferences. That's going to bring you up into the preference window. Go ahead and enter in your call sign, your grid, and fill out all of those things as you see fit. It's got handy little drop down boxes and you know mini instructions there. Most of this stuff actually is pretty pre-configured, so you really don't have to do a whole lot. Next, click on the radio tab and go ahead and uh, select the radio that you want to operate. And there's a lot of them there. Hopefully yours is uh, on that list. Really the only other thing you need to tell the program is what serial port you're running. Most of these other things are uh, already filled in for you. Go ahead and test your CAT connection and then test your uh, PTT connection to make sure that it's actually keying the radio. Next, go to the audio tab and you're going to want to pick uh, both the input and the output audio sources that you're going to use. I use the, uh, the USB audio codec. That way everything runs right through the computer and I don't have to uh, even have this thing make a sound in the shack. You can set up uh, transmit uh, macros if you want to. I've got just a simple one set up in there. Under the reporting section, you can uh, have it activate its own log system, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, one of the cool things about this program is it has several different modes, including Whisper, JT65, JT4, and a whole bunch of others. And you can go in under frequencies and define which frequency you want to use for that mode. You can set up colors and there's an advanced screen and I really haven't even dived into that one and there's really no need to. Now that the program is up and running, you're gonna see it's pretty much automated. Uh, this is what is very, very cool here. On the left side of the screen, these are other stations that are, um, that are transmitting, they're making QSOs, you're watching all this. You could see it all in the waterfall display in the bottom section of the screen. 
And on the right side of the screen, these are my interactions. And that red one that just popped up, or that orange, is a contact that I'm making at this very moment. Now that I've made that contact, the uh, logging software comes right up and I can go ahead and just hit OK. Bam! That Japanese contact is now in my uh, WSJTX log and I can export that right into my MacLogger software. To start the import process, I'm going to go down, I'm going to open up the log file or the directory. I'm going to go ahead and click on the log and it's going to automatically uh, start up MacLogger and go into it and uh, import everything. The actual import takes mere seconds and then I can go back into uh, MacLogger right click and update all these contacts with callbook. So once I've done that, I can re-highlight all those new contacts and go ahead and I can upload them to uh, QRZ, EQSL, and LOTW automatically. It'll uh, let me know that it's uh, set those things up and put them in and I can just keep going and it'll just keep updating those things as I, uh, as I do it. Believe it or not, I am right now making an FT8 contact and uh, as soon as I'm done with this part of the video, I'll go hit that log button. Uh, next month, I am gonna be at NVCon in uh, Boomtown, just outside of Reno, Nevada. I invite all of you to come check it out. Uh, I'm going to do a meet up there. I'll buy you a beer, maybe even all you can eat. No, I won't buy everybody all you can eat, but they have a great all you can eat buffet, man. Let's go have dinner. Let's, uh, let's have a beer. Maybe, uh, maybe play a little at the casino. We'll play a lot at the ham fest. We'll see you all at NevadaCon. If you like this video, again, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and 77% of you have not hit the subscribe button. Please hit it now. And that little bell icon right next to it. Until next time, my friends, I am Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here, 7-3.